You are welcome to another video of CLI based network automation using Python known here based on Cisco devices. In this section, we'll install and configure Docker version of Netbox on Ubuntu version 22.4. Usually, Netbox is used for the documentation purposes, but we will not use Netbox for documentation, rather as an inventory source in network automation. From the beginning of the course until now, we have used always known here native inventory management. But in the next session, we will use Netbox as inventory source in network automation. Netbox is a very powerful open source software used mostly for network documentation and IP address management. But in this module, we will not use Netbox as a documentation software, rather as a source of inventory for network automation. From the beginning of the course, until now, we have always used a Nornier native inventory solution to store device lists and information such as IP address, platform, group membership, and credential required to connect to the network devices. But if we look at Nornier tech website and Nornier plugin, we see that there are some other solutions as inventory management in non network automation if we search for the inventory keyword we can find some other non plugins that can be used as non inventory solution probably non netbox and non and sibel are the most popular among these plugins but there are also some other plugins that can be used also for inventory management in this module we will use a nornier netbox as inventory solution therefore we don't need to create host.yaml group.yaml and defaults.yaml inventory files that we have used from the beginning of the course until now in this module inventory information will be retrieved from netbox software in this section, we will first install Docker version of Netbox version 3.4 on Ubuntu version 22.4. Then we will configure the minimum information or configuration required so that Netbox can be used as an inventory source. Using Netbox in non-near network automation is demonstrated in the next section. First of all, let's check the version of Ubuntu. As you can see, the version 22, 4, and then 1. There are the steps that I've already noted here for installing Docker version of Netbox on Ubuntu. First, make sure that Ubuntu is updated. I've already updated my Ubuntu version. Then, make sure that admin user with sodo privilege is added to the Ubuntu, which will be used to connect to the Netbox. Then we will install the software Git, Docker, and Docker Compose. If they are not already installed in your Ubuntu machine, I've already installed, but to make sure, let's check it. It is already installed. And then Docker. Already installed. And then Docker Compose. It is already installed. Then we will copy Netbox Docker version from GitHub source community. Copy. A new directory with the name of Netbox Docker will be created in your machine CD Netbox Docker, which Docker images have to be installed and how they are configured are already defined inside docker compose yaml file the configuration that we can override must be defined under docker compose override.yaml file that we can copy from the example version which is already provided to us so therefore, in the next step, we copy Docker Compose Override YAML example to the YAML without example. 
file if you look at inside the file docker-compose.override.yaml you will see the port that the netbox is listening is configured inside override file which is by default 8000 then with command sudo docker compose pool we download the required docker images which is configured inside configuration file inside docker compose.yaml And finally, with the command docker compose up, we install and configure docker images as they are defined in docker compose YAML configuration file. Uh, the ampersand at the end of the command is only uh, added to be run in the background and it can show us again the shell command. First, we have to wait. The downloading of the images is completed. We can check the list of Docker images with the command uh, sudo docker ps. As you can see, these are the list of the images that they are uh, first of all downloaded and they are installed and loaded into the machine. If everything is installed correctly, then you can connect to the netbox through the default port 8 with default username and password admin and admin let's check it with IP address 2163 port 8000 now we are login log out and again login the default username and password is admin admin which was stored in my computer. If we look quickly at Netbox interface, you see these main options provided by the software. In the organization, we create physical and logical information of the organization like sites, racks, tenancy and contact information. In the devices section, list of devices connected to the network, their role, their type, their platform, interface connected to the devices, and many other information around devices will be configured inside the devices section. In the connection section, list of wired and wireless connection will be configured, and inside the Wireless section list of wireless network will be added. In IPAM section or IP address management, as the name suggests, the management of the IP addresses and IP subnets will be configured. This module is the most applicable module which can also be installed separately. And some other sections that are out of the scope and intention that we are using Netbox software. As you know, the Netbox software is mainly used for the documentation but we are using the netbox just for the source of inventory in network automation what we will do in the next step is to configure the minimum required configuration or information inside the netbox to ensure that it can be used as an inventory source in network automation which will be used in the next section i've already documented documented inside the github a netbo netbox minimum required information first of all we create a site with for example with the name of central office first we will add a site with the name of for example central office in the organization site and then add and central office create in the next step, we will uh, add a device role with the name of Rotor in the section Devices and Device Roles and add Rotor. In the next step, 
uh, in the section devices manufacture we create a new manufacturer with the name of Cisco Cisco manufacture then we will create a device type the manufacturer Cisco and model iOS device type add with manufacturer Cisco and model iOS and then create and then we will create a platform for iOS which is important for non-near automation script to know that the platform is iOS or for example Junos and with the manufacturer Cisco with the platform iOS and manufacturer Cisco and then you will add a device with the name of R1 with the device role rotor with the manufacturer Cisco with the device type iOS and with this within a central site and create and then we will add an interface which will be used to connect to the device for getting inventory information gigabit ethernet one inside the rotor one we will add a new interface the name of giga ethernet one and type 1000 base t 1g and then create and finally we will assign an IP address to this interface and make it as a primary IP address so inside the gigabit Ethernet we'll add a IP address 291 and then then make this the primary IP for the device and now the minimum information required to get the inventory information from netbox is provided and prepared and in the next section we will use this information to run our script the rotor r1